What's up guys, this is B Sensei. Today's video we're gonna be focusing on brawlers that are mainly good in solo showdown and uh, mostly trash everywhere else in 3v3. Um, so yeah, so basically even if you uh, you play ladder and even if you're good at 3v3, you might want to consider playing these brawlers in showdown rather than 3v3 just because um, they're gonna be good in showdown but bad in 3v3. So notice what further ado, let's just go into our first one. Alright, for the first brawler here I have Bull. Now, I'm, I'm not saying that Bull is bad on 3v3 or that you can't push him in 3v3. You definitely can. Uh, you can push him on some heist maps for sure, um, and hot zone as well. And he, there's definitely um, some Brawl Ball maps uh, with Poco Double Tank that you could push Bull on. But he's just not going to be the best option. And the reason why is because the meta right now, I mean, if you've been paying attention, is very anti-tank. Uh, a lot of the top brawlers, such as Spike, Max, they all counter tanks. You can throw in Collide in there. Um, Terra as well. You just got a lot of brawlers at the top of the meta uh, that just counter tanks. And that's why it's really not the best for tanks. Plus, Poco got that nerf, and uh, uh, all tanks really relied on Poco being strong uh, in the meta, uh, you know, to be viable. Um, so yeah, definitely not saying he's not viable, but this is just going to be a lot more difficult to push him. Whereas in Showdown, um, you got maps like School Creek and Stormy Plains and Rockwell Brawl, where Bull has a very high win rate. And you're going to be getting easy wins with him there. So that's why I have Bull um, here on this list. Alright, next on the list we have El Primo, which is doing even worse than Bull in the meta right now. For a lot of the same reasons. Um, but yeah, I mean, at least Bull, you know, um, if he gets on the high save, he can do damage. Primo doesn't, you know, really have anything really going for him. Um, I mean, you can run him on some hot zone, maybe. But, I mean, that's pretty much about it in terms of viability. He's just... Uh, Primo really relies on tanks to be good in order for him to be good, and when tanks aren't really good, he's just not the best. Um, however, when on Showdown, um, on those same maps, you know, Rockwall Brawl, uh, Stormy Plains, Skull Creek, Primo is actually one of the best brawlers there, and uh, it's because of his ability to counter other tanks very well is that he's really strong there. And so, yeah, definitely recommend you play Primo there. Alright, coming up next, we have Crow. And uh, this shouldn't really be a surprise. Crow has been trashing 3v3 for a very long time. But as everyone knows, Crow is pretty good in Showdown. In fact, a lot of people overrate Crow in Showdown, but that is a topic for a different video. Uh, but yeah, still, Crow is going to be decent on, uh, yeah, pretty much almost every map. You know, there might be some some tank maps where you might not want to run Crow. But, you know, and, you know, overall, Crow is a pretty decent option in Showdown because he got his speed, his ability to poison. And his assassin like super, which allows him to swoop in. Plus, he has his gadget, which enables you to get um, tank shots. Um, yeah, so definitely, I would recommend <laughs> to push Crow in Showdown. Definitely gonna be way easier than 3v3. All right, coming up next is gonna be Leon. And again, not really surprised. Again, Leon has uh, been trash in 3v3 for a very long time, just like Crow, and also just like Crow, he's also very decent in showdown and also just like crow he is also overrated in showdown but again that is a topic for another day uh yeah but nevertheless um you know leon's always been a solid showdown brawler um you know because of his ability to go invis and sneak up on people get those kills you know his high burst damage his decent range uh you already know uh so yeah definitely recommend playing leon in showdown definitely gonna be way easier than 3v3 i can definitely tell you that Alright, for our final brawler, we have Shelly, one of the worst brawlers in 3v3. Um, yeah, just Shelly's just not able to really win any matchups just because her range isn't really that good. She's a close range brawler, yet has pretty low amount of HP. And uh, she's really only good against tanks, however, tanks aren't good in the meta. And uh, even some tanks can counter Shelly. I mean, Shelly overall is just <laughs> not very good. However, in solo showdown, um, especially on those maps like I mentioned before, on Rockwell Brawl, Stormy Plains, Skull Creek, Shelly is one of the best brawlers there actually. And uh, yeah, I mean, unless you, you know, unless you absolutely hate showdown for whatever reason, you should definitely be playing Shelly there because it's just gonna be way, way easier to put Shelly in showdown than uh, in three v three. So yeah, unless you have like a really bad. Uh, a really bad server, or you just hate Showdown with all your heart, um, but really don't see why you wouldn't play Shelly in Showdown. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the list. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments. 
I think it's a good, pretty good list. You know, maybe I could have uh, switched out Bull for another tank. You know, maybe Frank, maybe. Maybe you could have thrown Frank on there instead. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a pretty good list. Because um, yeah, most of the, the best brawlers in Showdown are also really good in 3v3. You know, you got like B, Amber, Carl, you know, Max. Uh, you know, these brawlers are good in 3v3 and as well. And so, you know, finding brawlers that are only good in Showdown. Um, yeah, it really limits it a lot, but I mean, I, I think overall it's a pretty good list. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and peace.